the first edition of Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte, published in London in 1847 in three volumes. This is a copy in the original cloth. So Jane Eyre, at this time, um, female authors generally uh, did not want to publish under their real name. And so Jane Eyre <clears throat> was published under the name Cara Bell, which was uh, a name that Charlotte Bronte, uh, all the Bronte sisters had chosen names, rather strange names. I, I don't know anybody called Cara. I've never heard of anybody else called Cara. But it was published uh, anonymously in October 1847, by uh, Smith Elder, who were very respectable um, booksellers at the time. Uh, it was published in an edition of 500 copies. This copy is uh, unrestored in the original binding. You can see here the end papers, the uh, yellow end papers. And at the end of the book, just down here at the bottom, I can show you the binder's ticket, which is uh, Wesley's and Clark, who were the, uh, the case binders for this book. These kind of bindings were, they were in three volumes so that the lending libraries could lend you out one volume at a time and charge you for, for that volume. So it was a commercial practice which the publishers kept up most of the way through the 19th century, died out in the 1890s. This is a very nice copy of the book. It's, uh, it's in purple cloth. Purple is one of the dyes that tends to fade to brown. This has faded a little to brown. It's got a little marking on the sides. But it has not been read to death in one of the circulating libraries. It hasn't got any mark of ownership either. It hasn't got any names written on the, on the end papers. Uh, all of the volumes are the same clean state. Publishers put advertisements for other books at the end. In this case, it's the end of volume one. And so they would advertise all their other books. These ads are dated October 1847, which is the publication date of the book. Um, there are some other um, copies where the, adver uh, the adverts are dated June 1847. Nobody's very clear whether there's any precedence between them. They'd just be put into the binding as and when they came to hand. So this really is a, a super copy of a very famous book. Uh, in this condition, it is rare, and it's one of the cornerstones of 19th century English literature. There's more details about it on our website, Peter Harrington, uh, where you'll find contact details if you'd like to discuss this or any other book.